These things are pretty heavy. They're pretty good. These are called egg weights. So they're very dense pieces of metal in the shape of an egg. And they have these cool little hooks here that you put your fingers in so that way you don't drop them. Now you might be asking yourself, what is the purpose of this? They're made for UFC or MMA fighters or boxers. And they're good for shadow boxing and for overall just cardiovascular working out. Now they come in a bunch of different weight capacities. These are the um, four pounders I believe, so they're two pounds each and you might be thinking to yourself, that's not that heavy. But try shadow boxing with these for a while and you're gonna see you're gonna get an awesome workout. But that's not the topic of today's video. Today I'm challenging you not to working out though. Thirty days of coding, non-stop, for two hours per day, at a minimum. If you can, try to make it three hours or four hours. Now, why am I doing this challenge? I'm doing this because people often ask the question, how long does it take to learn how to code? And I tell them, it depends on how much time you put in. If you put in about half an hour a day, it's going to take you a very long time. If you put in one hour, you'll get there faster. If you put in two, three hours, now you're speeding up the process. Now, in order for this to actually be beneficial, you actually have to dedicate that time just for coding. That means you have to turn off all your social media notifications. You have to turn off your email notifications. You should probably put your phone on airplane mode. And just dedicate that time to coding. You could break it up. You could do one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening. The ultimate goal is to get two hours at a minimum of coding per day. And if you do that for 30 days, you'll have about 60 hours of coding under your belt. And you'll probably develop a new habit that'll probably help you out in your whole entire process and time of learning to code. Now, this is a great challenge for anybody. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, doesn't matter if you're intermediate, or even if you're advanced. Because even advanced coders still have a lot to learn. There's always new technologies, always new frameworks, always new libraries. You gotta stay on top of the latest trends and updates to the platforms that you're using. Now, at the end of 30 days, if you're really proud of the work that you put into it, and if you put in a significant amount of time, and if you wanna show off your work, obviously it'll have to be online, right? So you should have a hosted account. Then what I want you to do is at the end of 30 days, I want you to go to my website, pixelmurb.com, go to the contact section, and send me an email with the link to your website. And on top of that, I want you to go to Twitter, and I'll leave a link to both of these in the description area, and I want you to tweet out a link to your project, to your website, and I want you to use the hashtag, hashtag pixelmurb. So at the end of 30 days, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my email, obviously, and I'm gonna check Twitter to see who used the hashtag. And from there, I'm gonna take a look at the submissions, I'll take a look at the websites, at the projects, and I'm gonna choose the top 10 websites to review. And I'll come back, I'll do another video, and I'll give my two cents on how I feel about the project. Now, this is 30 days of code, two hours per day. And it's a chance for you to get some feedback on what you've been working on. All right, so are you up for the challenge? Are you ready for it? If you are, then break out a calendar. Let me find out when that date is going to be. Should have probably done this before I actually started making this video. Let's see, 30 days from today. Oh, today's November 20th. So we're looking at about December 20th, right? So by December 20th, that is the day I'll be looking on Twitter to see who's using the hashtag PixelMweb and who emailed me in terms of showing me their projects. Now, are you gonna accept the challenge? Are you gonna make this happen? And are you ready to commit two hours per day for the next 30 days to strictly coding? Now you might be saying to yourself, well wait, Joe, I don't have that much time. That's two hours per day. Well, let me tell you, we all have 24 hours a day. Yes, yeah, some of us have more responsibilities than others, but we all choose the time that we wake up in the morning. We all choose the time that we go to sleep at night. And I'm pretty sure that if you look at your iPhone or Android phone and you see what you've been doing for the past seven days or 28 days, you're gonna see you're spending a significant amount of time doing things that are not really that productive. Trust me, I actually looked at this and yeah. No, I gotta increase my productivity level. All right, so that's the challenge. For the next 30 days, I want you to code. Now, what can you accomplish within this time? 
Well, you're gonna learn a lot more about what you know and what you don't know. And you're gonna set yourself up for 2019, which is right around the corner. That's like 40 days away, 40 something days away. And if you start doing this now, this 30 day challenge, by the time the new year comes around, you would have developed a brand new habit. You would have identified your pain points in terms of learning to code or taking your coding skills to the next level. And you're gonna set yourself up for massive success in 2019. Why is that? Again, it's all about habits. If we have good habits where we're doing what we need to do on a daily basis and we're going above and beyond, then success is going to be that much closer. So at the end of 30 days, I want to see your project online. Is the challenge going to be accepted? Let me know. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that notification icon, and leave your comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.